Hello all. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about uh, the uh, patched wine version that you can use and in some cases it, uh, it will improve uh, the performance of uh, a wine installed game. Um, so I've installed Call of Duty 4 through Play on Linux. Um, so first of all let's just look at the game. So I'll fire it up. It takes a bit of time but it's fairly quick. And I'll let this run uh, specifically for this part here coming up. Without the uh, patched wine, this would be really laggy, uh, but it seems to be pretty quick. And this part coming up would never work, and it would be all uh, discolored. Now that could depending on the, depend on your graphics card and settings and stuff, but it does work now. And uh, under options, I left everything on the graphics settings pretty much the same as what it came out like I haven't touched anything here uh, texture settings I left I haven't tried to overstress that under game options um, I enabled the console so I can look at the frames for a second but keep in mind uh, since I'm recording it'll show uh, at least 10 frames per second less if that makes any sense so we'll select a uh, mission and I'll use the one that I uploaded earlier the the bog regular and uh, we'll see okay the game's already loaded so just press the mouse button to continue it does pause here for a sec yeah in the game it's around without recording it's about 40 nearing 50 frames per second on average but it it is running um, pretty good but it's just the uh, the fact that I can uh, run this without uh, having to do any extra configuration. Let's see if this ah uh, I missed it. Oh well. Usually here there's a scripted event where the car oh maybe it is going to blow up. So I'll see if this will blow up. Looks like it's burning. Am I going to get it? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> so it drops him back in. A little better frames there. Okay, so exit the game. Save. Quit and quit. And we'll move on. I'll just uh, talk briefly about what I did to get this working under Play on Linux. Okay, let's uh, fire up uh, Play on Linux. And uh, you see here it's Call of Duty. So I just highlight that. And I go, I'll go to the configure. Now the, uh, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't know, I, uh, it's in the game list, so let me go back. If you go to install games and call of the Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty 4, use the latest uh, 7. It says do not install DirectX, not 9, but I did anyway. A game doesn't work with the original uh, single player, single player, exe, exe, executable. So I tried to install this, and it was asking only for the CD DVD ROM, and I put that in, and it said it couldn't read it. And I also tried this under Ubuntu, and it still couldn't read the, the disc at all. So I had to manually take uh, the CD contents, copy them over to a folder, and then install a non-listed program. And uh, just let the install as default. And I did install DirectX 9 when I when it asked. And um, from there, I proceeded to uh, do some configuration, as uh, mentioned in many uh, blogs and uh, especially the Arch Linux uh, wiki. So the wine version is 1.7.4 CSMT. I don't know. I'm not sure what CSMT, anybody tell me, Community Service Management Team, I don't, I really don't know what that stands for, other than that it's a patched version of Wine that enhances, can enhance gameplay. Alright, and I have no other Wine version installed, if you want to, if you want to install this, okay, you click the plus sign, uh, give us some time, you see it's an uh, x86 game, 32-bit, uh, so you install it under a 32-bit container, and uh, it 
you can see here that it's installed. And under uh, display, uh, they suggest you uh, this setting, strict draw ordering. Make sure that's selected and disabled as I have it here. Under miscellaneous, I'll put this in the description. I can put a link to the Arch Linux uh, post, but it's you copy and paste it in here under the executable. And also, if you have to install it manually, make sure it's not just this because you won't get this dialog. You have to make sure you select the uh, shortcut. After I installed Call of Duty 4, I had to click Make New Shortcut for this virtual drive, give it a name, and then um, it'll put thrown on the desktop as well. I only have a uh, Alsa. Uh, sound installed so um, I had to go back into this actually I had to run this separately from play on Linux and go to the audio section and change everything here to um, an alt, the also setting uh, unfortunately um, when I tried to when I installed uh, steam it would it did accept the uh, the patched wine but uh, I had no way of uh, getting it to run any game. And when I tried to run a game, it wouldn't, it just crashed. So I'm not sure how to do that yet. So I'll have to look at uh, the patched version of Wine. Um, I'll put some links, as I said in the description. There's an excellent video on YouTube about it as well. And uh, Arch Linux uh, Wiki um, also has some uh, tips for you as well. And you can compile it yourself, by the way. But using Play on Linux is much simpler. Okay, so. Uh, that's it for this one. Uh, any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to add them. So uh, that's it, and uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.